CGIR research program on forestries and agroforestry is the largest research for development partnerships to tackle the important issues of the contribution of forest trees and agroforestry to sustainable development, climate change, addressing food security and working towards sustainable landscapes. Landscape is a very wide concept. FTA brings scientific material from genetic resources to livelihoods, value chains and impacts, wide large scale impacts such as climate change and how they all interact all together in a landscape. FTA brings research in development, meaning research that is done taking into account the needs and the expectation of stakeholders and integrating them in the research being carried forward. FTA being a research for development partnership brings solutions that are suited to, a different, to different kinds of situations and it bridges the world of research and the world of development actors for the co-generation of science and solutions. FTA provides science and knowledge and evidence base to discussion between stakeholders here at, at the GLF on sometimes very difficult issues or very controversial issues. Uh, here at this GLF in Bonn, uh, we emphasize on three main topics. The first one is the role of forest and trees in the water cycle, what we call the new science of rainfall recycling. The second one is about forest land restoration and providing a set of solutions to understand what tree to plant where in which context and also how agroforestry can help land restoration and, pr and promote food security at, at the same time. The last point is about finance and how finance actors can be mobilized to organize the value chains towards sustainable landscapes. The discussion managed to bring stakeholders and policymakers up to date to the latest scientific finding on what we call rainfall recycling so that they can first learn from uh, the new science but also consider how that, those, these elements can be taken on board in the different institutional frameworks they are dealing with, uh, be it water management, forest management or land management. Vegetation is known for long to influence the terrestrial water cycle on the ground. Uh, pres precipitation translates into runoff, the issues of flood control, etc. What is less known is that vegetation and land cover influence the atmospheric part of the water cycle, meaning that there is a kind of a paradigm shift from a situation where trees and forests matter for water basin management to a situation where trees and forests matter for management of rainfall at different scales. It is a different perception on how water is being produced and consumed in an ecosystem and how we can better manage ecosystems for providing water resources to agriculture for climate change adaptation, etc. So these insights may have important implications for either climate policies, land policies or water policies. Forests have been long known of having very important influences on climate change through mainly the carbon cycle. What these findings tell us now is that we will need to, be, to consider the role of forest on the water cycle and then the effects on local, regional and continental climates. So these kinds of discussions in the GLF are particularly important because they help First, different stakeholders understand the different perspectives on a technical issue and then also share views and their concerns and expectations amongst themselves. And one other important point in the GLF is that it's not a formal negotiation forum. So it enables to distill new ideas, bring new innovations on the table that could be then matured, honed and then brought up into other more formal kinds of platforms either at national level with governments or at international level such as international conventions.